what is going on guys i'm mkc technology and welcome to another tech video in today's video i'm going to be going more in depth about how to overclock your amd graphics card now this method also works for your nvidia graphics card if you do have one if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel now like for more videos and comment down below all the links to my social media is in the in the description box down below so please be sure to follow me on those platforms with that being said let's get started Now, if you're gonna overclock your AMD graphics card, you'll want to make sure you have all your drivers up to date. I'll leave a link in the description box down below for the AMD website to get all your drivers. And another thing you'll need is MSI Afterburner. Now you can use MSI Afterburner to overclock your AMD and NVIDIA graphics card. You can also use the AMD Radeon settings application that you do see here on screen right here that you can, so that you can overclock your graphics card. The only difference is, is with MSI Afterburner, it's more easier to overclock your graphics card. With AMD, with the AMD Radeon settings, is a little bit trickier due to the fact that the way they overclock things is a little bit different from MSI Afterburner, and everyone everyone uses MSI Afterburner. Now, um, for the graphics card that I'm using, I'm actually going to be using I'm actually using the AMD Radeon RX 560 from Gigabyte. Now, um, there are two variants for the um, AMD Radeon RX 560. You have the two gigabyte variant, and then you have the four gigabyte variant. Now, the difference with the both of those um, variants of graphics cards is that the two gigabyte variant has 896 stream processors, and then the four gigabyte variant has 1,024. On stream processors now if you do not know what um variant of the rx 560 that you have i'll also leave a link to this website that is right here up on screen now um and i'll leave a link in the description box down below so you can go ahead and see what um graphics card that you have uh, as you see here the gra both of the graphics cards are the same the only difference is, is the stream processors that it has and it also show, gives you the requirements, the GPU memory, the supported rendering format, the connectivity features, and whatever else uh, that you need. Um, you, you also have the other stuff for the secondary version of the RX 560. Now, this is the OEM variant. Um, so, I guess there's three versions of it. Obviously, everything else is, is the same but, um, besides the base frequency and the two other variants which is the 896 stream processor variant and then the um 1024 stream variant um stream processor variant so like i said i'll leave a link in the description box for this website as well um i'll also leave a link in the description box down below for msi afterburner so please go ahead and check out those websites so you can go ahead and um check these websites out now um Let's go ahead and open up MSI Afterburner and let's get start overclocking. Now this is MSI Afterburner with um it look, might look different when you first download it. That's because I have a different skin on MSI Afterburner. Now I'm not gonna get uh, get into how to change the skin for N MSI Afterburner, but um that's something I could get into in another video if you guys want me to, or or not just leave a link leave a comment in the comment section down below if you want me to get into how to change the skins for MSI afterburner and I'll probably make a video about it when I get the chance so as you see here I have different profiles for different things let's say I wanted to do um, uh, Bitcoin mining or something I, I could change it to so that it's not the stock frequency. I can also change it so that it's at the max frequency that I can run at, which is 1420 uh, megahertz. Now, I'm just going to start from scratch, and I'm going to show you how to uh, really overclock this graphics card. Now, like I said, this method that I'm showing you also works with the NVIDIA graphics cards. Now, it also works if, it, if you have two graphics cards running in SLI mode or crossfire mode a SLI mode or NV NV link now that is called um NV link is something is like SLI but NV link is for the RTX graphics cards for Nvidia SLI is for the GTX um, series graphics cards and crossfires for the AMD Radeon um 
graphics cards so that those are the differences between SLI crossfire and um, NVLink now like I said this also works as if you have two graphics cards working in tandem or rather if it's NVLink uh, crossfire mode or SLI now the way this works is if you have two graphics cards installed um, it will actually overclock the two graphics cards at once instead of overclocking them one by one so um, If you're gonna start overclocking your AMD graphics card as well as your N NVIDIA graphics card the first thing you want to do is make sure that Your graphics cards are already obviously up, up and running, but the, you want to make sure that you have a um a six pin power connector now there are graphics cards that can be overclocked without the six pin power connector this works perfectly fine but if you have a um six pin power connector for your graphics card th this will this overclock setting will work way more better than ha having a graphics card without a six pin power connector because this will like this overclock setting that i'm going to be running it at will not run on the current graphics card that I have due to the fact that I do not have a six pin power connector. Now, um, so when it comes to overclocking, you wanna overclock in increments of five. So this would be, let's say one, two, two, five. One, let's set it there so that I don't really get confused about What's the next step up in megahertz to overclock it at? So it's at 1225 right now. Let's change then our next step up in megahertz will be uh, 1230, right? So 1230, and then we can hit check mark or we can keep overclocking, overclocking it in increments of five. Now, every time you change um, the frequency, you want to hit the check mark so that way the whatever you just done to overclock your graphics card is applied now we can overclock it all the way up to 1400 megahertz you can't even get it up to 1420 megahertz but it's not it's not going to be running smoothly if you run it at 1420 megahertz if you do not have a six pin power connector that's why i said if you're running a graphics card that has a six pin power connector or probably even an eight pin power connector then this will run way more better now like i said before i do have the amd radeon rx 560 in my system as well as a, a as well as a asus rog strix b350f gaming motherboard with a AMD Athlon X4 950 processor running on the AM4 platform. I also have eight gigabytes of Kingston um, HyperX Fury DDR4 RAM running at 2133. Um, so our next step up would be 13, uh, 35, and he enter, and then we can keep going up. So. Oh, and um, another thing I forgot to, I almost forgot to mention, if you do hear any noise out in, in, in this video, just keep in mind that it's almost about to be um, New Year's Eve or New Year's, it's actually New Year's Eve right now. So, ouch, that actually hurt. But it's actually New Year's Eve right now, but tomorrow is New Year's Day. So uh, it's currently 9.21 right now and in a couple hours, well, in like three and I'm gonna say eight, three hours and 40 minutes or three hours and 39 minutes from now it's actually gonna be um new year's day i think it is correct correct my math if i'm wrong but yeah so our next step up would be um 13 40 and then we hit the check mark and we can keep going from there so to make this video a little bit shorter i'm actually going to overclock it overclock the core clock up to 1400 megahertz whoops and then our next step in and our next step is to hit the check mark to apply the setting now if we're going to be running the core clock at 1400 megahertz we're going to want to overclock the, me the memory overclock all right i mean the memory clock so it's at 1750 megahertz right now our next step up would be 1755 but i'm not going to go ahead and do that increment stuff right now due to the fact that i want to make this video as short as possible so 
the max we can run the memory clock is actually maxed out right we can actually max this out right now and it'll be running fine at 2000 megahertz now if you're gonna be running this setting like this you're gonna want to add more power to the power limit percentage so that way it actually runs at the target's um, speed or the target megahertz that you want it to run at instead of it fluctuating up and down um, between let's say the stock core frequency and the the frequency that you want it to actually run at so let's say um since this is running at 1400 megahertz and the memory clock is running at 2000 megahertz let's say uh, let's say um the not the let's say the power limit percentage i want to run it at will be probably 30 right so that will be the percentage or that yeah that would be the percentage that i want to run it at now for the fan speed i use, if i want to keep my computer quiet while i'm playing a game so that way i can hear what's going on because i right now i do not have um any headphones so if i want to keep my computer quiet so i can hear what's going on i'll normally leave the fan speed on auto but if it's getting too hot in my computer i'll actually turn off auto mode which is this button right here and then i'll turn up the fans all the way up and then i'll hit the check mark right here and then the fans on my graphics card will actually start running faster now if i hit this check check mark right now you'll probably be able to hear the fans on my graphics card um kick on or just speed up right now the fans on my gpu is not actually on it's on um it's on zero mode or zero fan speed mode i forget what it's actually called but on the gp on the gigabyte graphics cards is actually this thing called zero fan speed mode or something like that i don't know the correct name just correct me in the um comment section down below but yeah there's a mode where the fans on the gpu will not even spin if it's not really being used right now my gpu is being used but at the same time it's not really being used since I'm, it's not really being push heavily so if i click the check mark right now you'll actually hear the fans on my gpu kick on in three two one now i don't know if you can hear that but it's actually turning on it's actually it actually just kicked on but i'm gonna go ahead and turn on auto mode and i'm gonna hit this and the fan should go down there is a glitch within a MSI after run application whereas if you put on auto mode it actually won't go down like it won't go all the way down like how it's supposed to be so you actually have to go do this and then put it back down and then hit auto mode and then hit the check mark actually no wrong this 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 all right so that's the settings that I like to run my uh, GPU on when I'm actually doing something heavy on my computer like let's say video editing and if i am playing video games since this is a low-end gaming computer um i'll actually running out of run it at a lower frequency so that way my computer does not lock up when i'm playing a game so yeah that's how you overclock the, your graphics cards whether it's your amd graphics card or your nvidia graphics cards with that being said i'm mkc technology please leave a like a comment down below and all the links to my social media are in the description box down below. So please be sure to follow me on those platforms. With that being said, peace.